Hi everyone, how are you? This is B, and welcome to Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This particular psychic astro is for all signs of the zodiac. This reading is from February 1st of 2021 until February 7th of 2021. Thank you so much for all the likes, the shares, and the subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Guys, go back in and check your subscription. Make sure you have not been kicked off. People are getting kicked off again. I've been getting notices. So you got to go back in. Make sure you're still subscribed. All right. This happens every once in a while with YouTube. And they really need to stop messing with people's channels. But anyway, um, this is going to be an interesting week for sure. All right. For those of you that would like to get a membership to my website, you can go to the link below. There's also a donation page for the link below as well. And you may also get a consultation with me. Now, I have had a lot of things happen in the last past couple weeks, personal things that have happened that I've had to deal with, and I haven't had a chance to get those consultation openings done. I will hopefully get some open for the month of February. Please bear with me. Now, for those of you that are members on my website, how did you like the Psychic Extended last week? For the 25th, who predicted the stock market? That would be me. <laughs> yes, very prophetic indeed. Um, also, just want to let people know that my predictions are not necessarily about twin flames. If you're going to win the lottery or if uh, somebody that you left or left you is going to come back to you, that may come up. But my readings, my prophecies, whatever you want to call them, are more about the real world, okay? They're more about how life affects you on your every day. Are gas prices going to get higher? Is the stock market going to crash? Um, are you going to be dealing with rambunctious people, difficult people? Are you going to have to take a step back in order to recalibrate yourself? Those are the types of things you will get on this channel. I will also mention possibly great reunions, great things happening to you, luck, great times for you to take action as well. This is more of an advice or more of a life coaching type of YouTube channel. Uh, but I use the astrology and the tarot to be able to guide both of us through what those translations may be. Now, we are going to get right into February 1st of 2021. Now, I did mentioned February 1st of 2021 in last week's Psychic Astro. And also just want to mention, I did not do Psychic Tarot for last week because I simply did not have time. I was doing the monthlies. I'm still doing the monthlies. So I think I will be able to do the Psychic Tarot this time around, but it will not be out probably until Monday or Tuesday. All right, just letting you know. So it's going to be kind of like a short week, so to speak. All right, let's get into it. I did, like I say, I mentioned February 1st last time, but I'm going to go over it again and uh, just as an honorable mention here, and it's pretty significant. So on February 1st of 2021 at 5.33 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 4.33 a.m. Central Standard Time, the sun at 12 degrees of Aquarius is squaring Mars at 12 degrees in Taurus. Now, Remember, Mars does not particularly care for being in Taurus at all. Uh, Mars in Taurus is like Ferdinand the bull that gets stung by the bee, and I will continue to say that until Mars leaves Taurus. Now, Mars in Taurus is aggression and is uh, diligence as it relates to self-value, the money you make from the company you work for, the money you make from the business you own, your possessions, the body politic. And this is squaring off with the sun in Aquarius. The sun in Aquarius is the lifeblood of the collective. Now, some people say that the collective is everything in the universe and all that is within it, and I agree with that. But when we talk about the 3D, which is where we live, this is the collective across the world that we're aware of. This collective is going through a massive uh, communication, tense communication on February 1st. There is going to be a type of energy here where the collective almost 
in unified fashion starts to ask some serious questions. Now, the sun in Aquarius, the sun is all about life force energy, the illumination, the joy, the romance, the children, the creativity, the risk taking. In Aquarius, the collective mob rule, hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations, thinking outside of the box. This is what is being given life. This is what is getting illumination. It is at 12 degrees. So whatever this illumination is, whatever this aggression is, whatever this warlike energy is, whatever this diligence is, it has to do or it will come through uh, communication, absolutely, all across the wires. This is a 12, breaks down to a 3. That is the house of Gemini and Gemini rules, lies, truth, gossip, contracts, negotiations, agreements, siblings, short distance travel, the community, society, in your local community, friends, okay, neighborhood, this is where this energy is coming from. This is a group of people or a large, uh, what do I want to say, like section of people that are going to be gathering for some sort of announcement, some sort of action. So please be prepared for this. This will cause tension in someone's life or potentially the entire collective. So be aware of that energy, okay? We are now going to move down to February 6th. It's gonna be a short reading, ladies and gentlemen, but we do have quite a few on February 6th. This gives you a five-day window, a five-day window to take a step back on whatever tense action is taking place on the first. And please remember, when the sun is involved, it's a one to four day window. I just want to let you know that people are like, well, this didn't happen on this day. It doesn't have to. The window is within orb. Usually the orbs are most intensified at the two to three degree orb. That's why we have to give it exact two degrees, three degrees, and the final four degrees. So one to four degrees, especially when the sun is involved. So give it one to four days right around this time. You will see it. Now, on February 6th at 2.07 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1.07 a.m. Central Standard Time, Venus in Aquarius is conjuncting Saturn in Aquarius. Now, February 6th or right around this time, someone is making a commitment to a group of people or someone is making a significant commitment to an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Libra, or a Taurus. This is interesting. This could be a business partnership, or this could even be a romantic partnership. There may be conflict here, but I don't think it's in the partnership. I think the partnership is talking about the conflict outside of them as it relates to some sort of hope, wish, dream, goal, network, or association, or mob rule. There's a receptive energy here with Venus and Aquarius. There is a, a loving type of energy coming over the collective. The collective wants to spread the love, okay? Um, this is that old saying, can't we all just get along? That is what this is. But conjuncting Saturn, someone wants to offer love, someone wants to give love, but someone doesn't want to receive it. Someone doesn't want to have anything to do with it. All right. So for some people out there, this is a commitment. Absolutely. And it will be solidified. And it may be solidified through some sort of external conflict. But for others, this is someone giving love to someone and someone saying, you can sit and spin. Uh, this ain't happening, not going for it, ever, <laughs> okay? Remember, when I talk about Saturn, sometimes I can get quite Saturnian, all right? So 
Saturn is saying uh, access denied. Uh, this love that people are expecting, this love people are uh, trying to exact upon people. It feels to me that Saturn is coming in and saying, wait just one minute. Why do you want to get on my good side? Why do you want to help me? Why are you trying to offer me love or offer me some sort of assistance? Why? You see where I'm going with this? Be careful. This is someone telling you what you want to hear in order for them to gain control of you or to gain control of the situation. All right. So you know how this is going to happen. This could also be the awareness of a group of people, the collective, uh, a network, something like that, realizing that they were used. And now this karma is kind of coming back. All right. Remember that. We also have Mercury going retrograde. Don't forget about that. Going through Aquarius, February 10th is going to be a humdinger of a day. And um, we'll get to that next week. We also have on February 6th at 6.43 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 5.43 a.m. Central Standard Time, Venus in Aquarius sextiling Chiron and Aries. Now, this is what's so amazing. This is what is so fascinating. There is another awakening here. An awakening to the healing. An awakening to, wait a minute. What have I been putting my energy into? If I find myself in a situation where I have been wrong, misled, misinterpreted, whatever it is, I have an opportunity here to heal myself. Absolutely. In your everyday duties, uh, as it relates to the details, as it relates to service to others. This is where the collective goes through this mass of healing because of some sort of realization earlier on in the day or earlier on in the week. This has everything to do with an Aries person, an Aquarius person, or a Libra or a Taurus person. All this is happening on one day. And we have another one on February 6th, later on in the day at 1.40 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 12.40 p.m. Central Standard Time, the sun in Aquarius is trining the north node in Gemini at 18 degrees. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the truth. Huge truth. Huge truth. This is going to free someone or a group of people. A massive liberation of the collective. A massive realization for the collective if there's no liberation. This is significant. 18 degrees breaks down to a nine. This is nearing completion. Nine is the sacrificial energy. Does the collective realize or is there a realization within the collective, within a group, within a network or an association that they have been the sacrificial lamb? We are talking about the collective with Aquarius. We are talking about illumination with the sun. We are talking about support with the North Node in Gemini that rules the truth, the lies, the gossip, siblings, contracts, agreements, negotiations, short distance travel, social media, there's support here. Support for the collective. That 18 has everything to do with your identity and your own empowerment. What a day ladies and gentlemen, on the 6th. What a day. But every rose has its thorn, does it not? On February 6th at 10.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9.33 p.m. Central Standard Time, Venus in Aquarius at 6 degrees is now squaring Uranus and Taurus at 6 degrees. 
whatever this awakening is, whatever this liberation is, whatever this happiness is, whatever this joy is, is pissing somebody off. Someone doesn't want the collective to be happy. Someone doesn't want the collective to join together in unison to bring joy to everyone's life. Why is that? Because with Venus and Aquarius, there is love in the collective. A lot of love. This is like... Um, Oh, I'm trying to think of the theatrical production. West Side Story. This is like West Side Story. But both sides, or Romeo and Juliet, both families decide to put their differences aside and they decide to move forward together. But this is in the collective. Remember that. This is outside of any type of organized um, group, uh, any type of organized society, so on and so forth. This is more about the collective. Everyday people. What is going on here? And why is the love and the happiness and the joy and the receptive energy of the collective making someone unexpectedly upset? Or why does it cause something to unexpectedly happen with someone's self-value or their possessions or their money? It's a tense energy. Very tense. So while the collective is trying to create an avenue of unity and love and support, The body politic, the money, the self-value, the possessions, the diligence is receiving tense energies in an unexpected way. Fascinating. Now, these are the only... Uh, aspects that are available to us for this upcoming week. And so I want everyone to be ready. Okay, I've been telling people this for quite some time. And there is an energy that is about to go through the collective unlike anything anyone has ever seen. Is this good? Is this bad? Well, it's up to you. It's up to the collective. What does the collective match with? This is what is important. Okay? This is what is important. I'm going to give you a couple examples. Okay? I don't know if all of you remember uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay? When Harry is um, basically in the dungeon, so to speak, and something happens where he's, he's got the stone, okay, but uh, Voldemort is inhabiting um, Professor Quirrell, okay? So Professor Quirrell is almost like an animal and like there's a tick on him, okay? And that's Voldemort. Voldemort's living off of him. He's a, he's a parasite. Okay, and so, but of course, Professor Quirrell is doing this um, willingly, all right, or maybe not, depending upon, don't know really the backstory behind it, but towards the end, after Harry destroys Professor Quirrell, Voldemort has part of his soul left over, and Voldemort pushes through Harry, and it goes through his soul and out his back. For those of you that remember that, that is the feeling that we're going to get this upcoming week. There's something going through. Pretend Harry Potter is the collective and pretend Voldemort is that energy of awareness, truth, gossip, lies, whatever it is. 
and it's going through the collective like a whoosh, okay? This could also be compared to Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark, okay? When he's tied up with, um, I think her name is uh, Marianne, um, on that pole when they open up the ark. And it's a beautiful sight to see at first, and then it turns very, very gruesome. Okay, that's what I see. I don't really know what else to say. Okay. And then the other thing about the collective being, finding this love, finding this happiness, finding this joy in whatever way this is. This is similar to someone's child doing something very kind for someone and then getting yelled at because they were kind. This is how messed up this energy is. It's like somebody's getting yelled at for being, for being a good person, for being helpful, for being genuine, for giving love. Someone gets their hand slapped for it. So who is this? Where is this happening? Watch around you and be aware of your surroundings, okay? Because this is the energy we're kind of dealing with right now. And you're going to really see it now. Why? Because now the sun in Aquarius is trining that north node in Gemini at 18 degrees. Truth and nothing but the truth. And if there's anything outside of the truth, it will be identified, it will be observed, and people will have to make a choice on what it is they see, what it is they hear, what it is they're presented with. This is the type of energy that you're going to be dealing with. All right? Let's see how the psychic tarot figures into all of this. And I will do my best to get that up Monday or Tuesday. I wish all of you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.